like hockey weather out there, and we've got a good one here in store for you tonight. American Hockey League action. I cannot wait to drop the puck. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Bears take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Slides it across to Ness. Good hit on the play. The Bears looking against the half wall. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Takes the feed. Takes the shot. And there's the save on the play. Shepard's made an incredible save right there. And it's kind of status quo. He's had such a consistent presence in the net all season long, as indicated by his save percentage. His team's in the win column. Can't do much more than give your team a chance. Blocker save. Frisky scudded against the boards. The Hawk team is really under siege here in their own end. Turns it aside. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've still got zeros on the board. Starbos has won the draw there on the attack. Great save by Ayrson. Taken along the wall by Rowe. Coaches work all the time with one screen or one player in front, James, and he's got to do a good job of finding this puck. I mean, it just beats him clean. Hershey's drawn first blood here in this one by getting on the board first. Uh, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to play with the lead, not behind it, James. And now it's what they do next. They've created some energy for themselves. Now it's about continuing to attack and find the back of the net again. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to put that one away. Denies the shooter on that play. Shepard's able to get to position and negate that dangerous slot shot. Handles the pass. Quick pass to Scarbosa. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he takes the feed. The Phantoms are on the attack. Oh, he'll feel that one. Moves it to roll. Here's a centering pass. Lehigh Valley's got the puck. The Phantoms will play it in their own end. Into the attacking area from the left side. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. The Phantoms have set themselves up nicely throughout the first half of this season, James. They've been connected. They've got a lot of W's underneath their belt. Now they just got to push to the finish line, and the stretch, it can be tough. Huntington's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Puts it on there. come down the left side on the attack here's a chance to move the puck outside the zone gets it out of his own end streaking through center they go on the attack along the right wall and into the offensive end puck grab by Dave and that pass attempt is deflected here's a short pass to Dave puck leaves the zone on a bad pass and they'll be forced to regroup Moves it quickly over to Wisdom. And there's the save! Nice speed of center moves up ahead now. Lehigh Valley's got a hold of the puck now. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a... Second period set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. All right, 
Five pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Lehigh Valley's coaches aren't going to like the possession numbers here, James. Sometimes it doesn't match the eye test, but tonight it does. The Phantoms gain control of the puck against the wall. Tries to get it to Tenoye. Levels him with the hit. Long lead pass to Snively. Great hook by Denoye. Quick feed to McMichael. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Lehigh Valley's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. Tries to get it over to Wilman. The Phantoms pick up steam and are on the attack. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he takes the feed. Sends it in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends the pass down low. Makes a move inside. They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heels. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Coaches always say, take away the eyes of the goaltender, and this is exactly why you can see him trying to find the puck at every corner, reaching around bodies up and down, but he can't find this puck, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Bears are clicking on all cylinders tonight, now up by a pair here in the first half of the second. Well, it's deserved, James. I mean, they've competed in all areas of the ice. They put a lot of shots towards the net, and they've been rewarded for their efforts. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. There's a solid collision. Lehigh Valley's got control of it now from their own end. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Johansson. And now he moves it to Strong. The Bears take it along the wall. Denied by Ayrson. The goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is going. And he makes the save. Wow, the home team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Past the midway mark of the frame. Hershey's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Lehigh Valley's going to start with the puck in their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steve. Quick shot, and he's got that one. Quick pass to Sutter. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. He scores! That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. Lehigh Valley's got one back here late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer, and the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in that scenario, in that last sequence to get that goal. They'll need to continue where they left off. Takes it in front. Slick feed. Near the point. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And he slides it quickly to Ness. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Oh, and you know that's carried momentum. But they'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one.
The Bears really got to be feeling good about themselves after that goal here late in the second, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the way they played. I mean, they've been aggressive. They competed in all areas, and now they've got that two-goal cushion heading into the intermission. This will provide a lot of energy to close out the third. Well, there you go. We played 40 minutes. Final chance for the coaches to push their messages home, and we'll see. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. And this one's underway here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? The fans are slipping back on their heels throughout this entire game. The good part, they got 20 minutes left to play, and it's a close game. They got to find an opportunity to get a shot off, James, and that means generating speed, generating offense, and it'll only start if they can get into the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, what a stop by Shepard! Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And he loses control here. Looks to set up at the point now. Puck picked up by Heinen. That opportunity is rejected. Here he is in close. Oh, there's one more. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Gains the zone through the middle. Snively's exploring options with the puck. Here's a chance behind the net. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed. With the bank pass. Works it across to Ness. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. The Phantoms are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions. They've been great spots and finding ways to get the puck. Doing a great job defensively, but they've got to convert. The Bulldogs start winning this game in part because of their second line that has been really effective. It's kind of a layered approach. When you can get depth scoring and secondary scoring, you know your team has a chance to be successful. They came the zone from the left side. I know I stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Stop that one. Handles the pass from the right side. Big time hit along the board, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble. He's got a step. Oh, to the eyes of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And the puck leaves the sun going back to center ice. Wilson's got it in the defensive end. Hershey's got the puck along the boards. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. Penalty coming up here. The Bears are getting penalized for slashing. with an all-important power play opportunity here. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Rabinsky's got the puck along the blue line. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Oh, what a chance here! And that's broken up by a great defensive play. Solid check to slow him down. Fires it on net. Here's a shot. Oh, what a club save! Wow! The Bears will return to their friendly confines on the schedule next as they open up a homestand, and tickets still available for that one. MPs recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Makes the save. Oh, and the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to do this one over. Puck scooped up by McElrath. Yeah, the officials caught that hack. The Bears will play it against the boards. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Let's see the call here. Maroney's getting called for slashing. A 
nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Turns that one away. Shepard's faced a lot of shots tonight, James, and he's been dialed in and made the necessary saves, but his team's been excellent in front of him, generating some offense and a reason why they have a lead. Looking to break out here on the power play. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. Taken by Snively. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Came up with a nice save. Moves it to Tinoyer. Lehigh Valley's on the attack. The Phantoms have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. And into the wide open cage. It's an empty net goal. Well, and a sigh of relief as well as it's a real insurance mark. You, you put it in the empty cage and you don't ice it, that's a good thing. On the dying moments of the game, they get the empty netter, James, and that's just a result of having urgency, making sure they protect the middle of the ice, and hey, they get it down the ice and get the empty netter to boot. Hershey's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. McMichaels won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. And that pass is redirected. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Bears have it now. McMichaels got it through center. The Bears played along the boards. Quick feed down low. Hammers one from the point. Misses wide. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. This was one of those nights where everything seemed to click, at least at one end of the ice. Certainly through the neutral zone as well. They were able to gain entry very easily, and then they would throw the puck on net and drive the lanes. Did a great job on that. Well, we certainly had a great time tonight. Everybody in the broadcast crew as well, and from all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Savalski wishing you a safe and healthy night, and we'll see you down the road again soon.